What's happening guys? I'm Dan. Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for being here. It's another hot butcher beer. What's the news? Well, it's Telehopic. Brand new for me. I've never had this one. This is brewed with Mosaic Sultana Columbus. Uh, so yeah, I've never had that combination of hops either. So I dig it. Seven and a half percent the base, if you will, for Hot Butcher. You see those seven and a halfs all the time. Uh, no canned on date, but again, uh, from my last video, I know that this is freshly dropped. I wish they would have put a canned on date. They typically used to. I'm not sure why they didn't, but they did message me and say, fresh drop, baby, enjoy. So uh, not that they supplied it for me, but maybe, wink, wink, one day you will Hot Butcher. I don't know. Probably not, I don't ask for free shit. So, any who's, um, let's dive into this one. Again, I have not had it. And when I see new Hot Butcher, I get it and I review it for you guys. So, so many of you guys follow this brewery and it's fun to just kind of break this one down because I know so many of you are probably drinking this as you clicked on this video. So, uh, not that that many people watch this, uh, this channel, but if you do, what's up? Thanks for being here. So, again, murky OJ, man. It looks great. Uh, just like the last one I had, it looks fantastic. It looks very creamy, a little bit, maybe less head retention than the last one, but still just Dawn soapy, amazing goodness in the glass. We don't need to go too much into the appearance. You guys freaking see it. I mean, unless you're blind, should I put some Braille on here? I don't know. So, you can see this, most likely. Uh, we're not going to go into any more detail. Let's go to an aroma. Berries, pineapple, grapefruit, slightly dank. I feel like I feel like so many of their beers are so similar, but I can tell that this one's maybe a little bit less fruity and bright than the last one I had. What does that smell like? It's just, it's like a certain fruit medley that I can't explain. What does it say on the back? Pineapple, ripe berry. So I don't know, some sort of berry maybe? I was like, yeah, maybe. Maybe it's just like dank raspberries. Like raspberries soaked in chive. Just this onion dankness, just slight citrus forwardness. And then that just pineapple, papaya must. Just, I don't know, it smells pretty good, but it's not as vibrant as maybe some of the other ones I've had from them. But uh, just kind of an odd hop combination. You can tell maybe it's gonna be kind of bitter compared to some of the others. It's hard to say. I'm gonna dive in. It's the Telehopic, guys. Cheers. Nice mouthfeel. Right off the bat, nice mouthfeel. Uh, very soft, pretty decadent. A little bit of a touch of alcohol, which I typically don't get. It feels more astringent and maybe more um, uh, just off-putting than maybe some of their other beers in this uh, ABV range. This one has a, just a little bit of harshness and acidity to it. Um, I, I don't know how I feel about like the Sultana Columbus mixture. Like I feel like these are kind of fighting each other a little bit compared to some of their other beers. I feel like um, it's just not as soft and fruity and and uh, luscious maybe as some of the other beers. This is a little bit more like harsh bitter, um, harsh grass, a um, little bit of like tree bark and, and earthy woodsy kind of uh, fruitiness to it. And then again, you have this little like mash of raspberries, blueberries, um, kind of Pine cones just joined into the party there. Just a lot of things going on. I do really like the mouthfeel. Like it's a very soft mouthfeel, uh, yet still comes across with a little bit of navel orange, OJ. Um, again, just not as bright though as some of the other offerings from Hot Butcher. I'm not saying this is bad. It's just different. Uh, maybe and that's a good thing because you get so much of the same. Um, but I don't know how I feel about it. Like it's just, it's a little bit more harsh on the back end, a little bit more of that bitterness. Touch more of the ABV shows. Not that I can't put it down, I still can. Pineapple, P 
peach, papaya, definitely still present. Um, yeah, I mean, I just feel like the... I feel like the hops just clash a little bit. I just feel like it's a little bit more harsh on the back end, uh, maybe not fruity enough on the front to balance out some of that harsh bitterness, a little bit more of that earthy, woodsy, soily tree bark, um, pine cones. It just comes across a little bit more edgy than, than some of their other beers. It's just, um, you're splitting hairs at this point. So we're talking about hot butcher here, guys. So is this their best offering in my opinion? No, uh, but is it still a very good, uh, Dippa? Yeah. I mean, tough to beat that, especially with this mouthfeel. Um, maybe some of their other beers have a slightly better, mouthfeel, but this one's still soft and creamy, and, and it, I think it's just the, the hops clashing slash malts clashing a little bit. Uh, it just, it, it feels like this beer just doesn't flow as well as some of their other offerings. Still pretty good though. I still get that just little bright fruity note on the front that just, it, it's, it's, it's odd. I think it's just the Sultana I'm, I'm not too familiar with. I've been seeing it more recently. Uh, I just think that the hops just clash for whatever reason a little bit more than some of their other offerings. Still some nice uh, orange and grapefruit in there for sure. So that being said, where do I put this? It's a four out of five for me today. So uh, yeah, I guess low for Hot Butcher. We're usually closer to the four, two, five to the four, six, seven. Uh, but today it is a four out of five. Uh, it is what it is, guys. So Tele Hot Pick, thank you so much for being here. Until next time, prost.